video, I'm gonna break down some of the key differences between customer service in France compared to the United States. And you might be surprised. First up, formality versus friendliness. So in France, they're going to be more formal, more serious, more reserved. So you go, for instance, to a store, maybe you're going shopping. They may not come up to you and say, hey, how are you doing? What can I get you? How can I serve you, basically? They're going to have more of the approach of like, hey, if you need me, I'm here. If you don't, you know, then that's fine too. So they're going to be a lot more formal in that regard and more professional because they don't know you. So in a way, if they still have that certain barrier, but they are there also to assist you should you need it. In the States, they're going to be more friendly. They're going to make small talk. You might have somebody behind a counter just engage in a conversation and you feel like you've known them for forever. So they have that approach where they will come to you. So same thing, if you're going shopping, they'll come up to you and be like, hey, can I help you find a size? What are you looking for? Is there a specific color that I can help you search for? They're gonna have more of that approach in the States versus in France. Next is the pace of service. So in France, it's going to be more slow. As I mentioned in last week's video, comparing work in France versus work in the United States, and especially in the summer in south of France, things are a little bit more tranquille or a little bit slower paced. So in France, they will allow the customer, for instance, to enjoy their meal with no pressure to leave the table so that another customer can come and sit down. In the States, it's more about efficiency and speed. So after a while, the waiter comes back and checks on you and checks on you and checks on you again. And on one hand, it's super nice because whenever you need anything, they're the first to add ice to your uh, you know, cup of water or you know, give you a refill. But on the flip side, it's also a little bit of a push of like, hey, you know, there's other people kind of waiting. Hey, I'll leave your check whenever you're ready for it. No pressure. And so in France, it's completely different where you call on the waiter because they want you to relax. They don't want you to feel that kind of pressure. So it's just a different way of looking at things. Same with tipping. And I've done other videos that talk about restaurants and ordering at a restaurant in France or tipping as it is. But in France, you know, one thing I'll just briefly mention is that the tipping basically is included. So if you're buying a uh, 10 euro crepe, that's what you're paying at the end versus in the States, they're gonna add the taxes and um, tipping after. So those are things that are a little different. And because of that, I believe that in the States, the waiter is going to be a little bit friendlier or more observant, more serviable, because they know that at the end, that may determine how much you tip versus in France, that's already calculated. So if you leave a year or two, great, but that's not that much. So they're not gonna have that same mentality, if that makes sense. Another big difference, handling complaints. In France, it's more bureaucratic, I guess you could say. It's gonna take a long time to get to the right person in order for them to do something. Whereas in the States, they want you to leave happy and satisfied and please and make sure you leave a good review and you don't necessarily try to sue them for something. So because of that difference in approach, they're going to handle the complaint differently. For instance, you might be at a restaurant, I'm going, I'm going more with restaurants, but it could apply to other things as well, where you order something in a French restaurant, you're not really pleased. They may just be like, hey, sorry, that's how it is versus in the States, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, let me give you a refund, let me give you a discount, let me change you know, your plate, Let, let's offer you something else. So it's very different in that regard. In the States, what I've noticed is that, and this possibly refers to tipping, but not always, it also just refers, in my opinion, to job security, to having lived both in the France and in the States equally. What I will say is that in the States, when, you provide customer service, part of it is also the fear of a job loss because there's a little bit less job security, especially in California where I was an expat for 20 years. So of course you wanna put on your best face, you wanna make sure the customer's happy because you're scared that if they complain, you could lose your job over it. In France, they have a little bit more job security, whether you have a CDD, which I can explain what that is in another video if you're interested, a contrat de durée déterminée, or a CDI, which is contrat de durée indéterminée, so a basically a contract for a either a job for a season or indefinitely. But 
regardless of the contract they have, they're more protected. So even if you were to complain and somebody treated you really bad, they have more job protection in that regard. So maybe that's why their customer service approach is a little different, but that is a noticeable difference. Also, um, at least in California and in other states in the United States, a lot of it is at will. So a if you, you hire someone, you can get fired at any given point in time for no reason, for no explanation. It could be on Tuesday, it could be on a Thursday. Or whereas in France, they have to give more warnings from what I've noticed than in my experience working in both countries than they would in the United States. And finally, customer service versus attentiveness. And so I somewhat mentioned this, but basically in France, they let the customer be a little bit more independent and instead of constantly checking in with the customer versus in the States, they're going to be more attentive to make sure that the customer has everything that they need. And we see this a lot in grocery stores where somebody will bag your groceries. Whereas in France, you bag your own groceries. I've done a couple of videos of grocery shopping in France if you're interested in seeing some of the differences because there are some. But basically, they're going to give more independence to a customer in France because, again, it's that, like, hey, we don't want to intrude. A lot of it has to do with the culture. We don't want to intrude, but if you need us, we're here. You know, it's more that professional approach. Whereas in the States, they're going to be mindful of, hey, do you need anything? I will do this work for you. This is what I'm paid for. I will bag your groceries. I can help you out if you need me to. I can, you know, help put things in the car. So that is a huge cultural difference because at first, if you're not used to it, it may come across as rude from the French, but it's not necessarily, it's just culture difference. So these cultural differences make such a unique experience in each country. And that's what I like is that I don't feel like it's always about one's better than the other, but it's just understanding the cultural differences. And so when you go into a country and you understand those differences, you kind of adapt or like, oh, that's why they're like this. Maybe it's not that they're being rude or maybe they're not um, being fake, for instance. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.